Hello everyone, welcome back to Inno TV. It's really nice to see you again on the internet. And as we all know, ever since the establishment of InnoDisk in year 2005, we have focused on overcoming challenges that our customers made in their unique applications, such as hard working environment, demanding performance, and data security in fields like automation, gaming, medical, or even aerospace. So we've invited our product PM Daniel here today to tell us about what are embedded flash departments newest focused and how they will impact all players in the embedded market. Hello Daniel. Hello Rita and thanks Rita for having me. So in InnoDisk, we've been constantly looking for new breakthroughs that make us better partners to our customers. Now, AIoT is clearly the next big thing that brings countless new opportunities as well as new challenges. With the potential deployments of billions of sensor, edge computing device, information gathering hub, and infrastructure improvement need, we look back to the most fundamental part, management and maintainers of all kinds of systems. This is why we have prepared in the OSR product family. Ah, okay, Daniel, thank you. So, um, could you tell us more about this in the OSR family? What is the goal here with this product line? And what does it do? Okay, Rita, it is actually very simple. As the name suggests, OSR stands for Operating System Recovery and On-Site Recovery. Essentially, we want to provide our customer an elegant solution to OS recovery for both manned and unmanned systems. Ah, I see. So, it seems like the inner OS are also focused on OS backup and recovery. I thought we could already have inner age to cover the requirement. So, you're correct. Inner age with its embedded micro Azure Sphere control unit and the InnoDisk in-house firmware design. Doing system restoration is a piece of cake. However, InnoH focuses much more on the out-of-band management potentials. As for InnoOSR, we aim to provide a balanced solution to customers who require system restorations only. Oh, I see. So, is it complicated to integrate into customer system? Um, not at all. We will provide inner OSR in major form factors such as 2.5 inch and that two both 22, 42, and 2280, as well as MSATA. There are multiple ways to have direct communications with our SSD controller such as GPIO trigger, vendor commands through SATA connector or BIOS modifications. In short, as long as you can send signal to our disk, we can perform backup or recovery process for you, for your command. So, must be handy to use when OS damage occurred, right? Uh, correct. We want to make InnoOSR as easy as possible to use. I have actually prepared a simple walkthrough to show the process of establishing OS image in different InnoOSR modes. Ah, that's great. There are more than one way to use InnoOSR? Oh yes, Rita, we actually have um, three modes for different scenarios. So first, there is standard OSR. In this mode, users simply send out the recovery command through push buttons or other methods, then the recovery process will start. Firmware will move images from hidden areas to override the actively damaged boot up record part. So depending on the actual backup image size, this mode will take a few minutes to finish so our target user scenarios are those with personnel, with personnel on site and can wait a bit for system recovery process to finish, such as manufacturing facilities and education purpose. Okay, and so now we can see the demonstration. Yes, we can, but I have to do a little setup here, just okay. a minute. Okay, so here we have a setup with inner OSR disk installed. And you can see that it is a very uh, standard Win 10 environment, 
currently in you know, OSR is compatible with x86 based Linux or Windows 10. So here in this environment, we have prepared an inner OSR tool. After launching this tool, you can see that it will automatically identify the inner OSR uh, drive installed on your systems. So here you can see this is a disk and a, a variety of four partitions in your system. Okay. So how do I set up a backup image? So I need to pick like to which location, like how big, how many partitions you like us to back up into our hidden area. So in this case, OS partition, partition C is with size 19 gigabytes in total. So we pick this one. And all the previous partitions, the recovery, the hidden part established by Windows will also be included. So after I check this check, this box, and all previous partition will also be included as well. And now we are demonstrating OSR mode 1, which is the standard recovery. It's actually pretty simple. After we uh, pick all the partitions and choose this mode, then we can start the backup. The tool itself will check that whether you are having enough hidden area on your disk. Once you pass the check, OK, then the process will start, as you can see over here. And the length and the time um, it may consume depends on the actual size of your backup image. So more partitions, the bigger partitions are, the longer it will take for our drive to backup the image for you. So after we deliberately uh, damage the OS boot up area, you can see that our system cannot be booting to OS normally. So what do we do now? Here is the OSR button, which is connected to our OSR drive. So after pressing this button for five seconds, our SSD controller will start the recovery process. So you can see that there's a blinking light. So after this light stay lit. It means that our recovery process ha has finished. So then we will restart the system, then we can boot into OS as usual again. Second mode is shift boot. We establish dual backup images in this mode, main backup image and secondary image. When OS crashed or damaged, user can send out recovery commands through the same method as mode 1, and then snap. Boot up area will instantly be shifted to main backup image. Then the second image will overwrite the damaged part. In short, there will be almost no downtime and always have an intact image on the device as reserve. Our target user scenarios are those with personal on-site and can tolerate limited downtime, such as medical. Okay, so here you can see I have established a shift boot mode backup with the InnoOSR tool. And now I'm going to demonstrate what happened, what's the differences after a damaged OS occurred. So I have again damaged the OS partitions. I will restart now. You can see error occurs again. Uh, the system is trying to find the media presence and you will find no bootable device on it right now. And now with this button, I can, after pressing it for another five seconds, it will stay lit instantly because after receiving this command, our SSD will shift the boot up area to the backup image in no time. So you can see that we don't need to wait and we can just restart 
the system. Just like that, zero wait time. Lastly, auto reboot. This mode is designed for unmanned systems with connections to system reset pins and inner disk OS services or agent in place our disk will be able to detect whether the OS is operating normally or freezed or damaged during damaged circumstances our disk will reboot the system to rule out freezes and if the system cannot be put up normally our disk will automatically start the recovery process and bring the system to normal in no time we end applications such as digit signage or other remotely deployed systems for this mode okay so in this mode uh, we have established an auto reboot image with our OSR tool and uh, the timer the monitoring timer which we call heartbeat timer has been set to two minutes and five minutes two minutes means that if our disk does not receive the signal every two minutes our disk will automatically reboot the operating system then if the first reboot is not a success our SSD will initiate the recovery process it will give the system five minutes to reboot so after setting I'm going to destroy our sector right now and uh, I will restart making it un making our system stuck in the boot up part okay as you can see checking media presence again and you will not find any so the system normally will be stuck in this part until a uh, maintainer's mechanical can on site to repair the system or replace the damaged um, hardware but with installations of InnoOS Art, this mode, this auto reboot mode, will fix the situation in no time. Okay, so after disconnected from OS for two minutes, our SSD will trigger the first reboot. Then, after another five minutes without um, signal from the OS services, our disk will trigger the recovery process. So, as you can see here, without any human interactions, our system can reboot itself back to normal operations for in-band control or other um, operating requirements. Thank you, Daniel, for a comprehensive introduction about our latest Flash product in the OSR and the demonstration for three different operating modes. And if you like this video, please give us a thumb up, share this video to your friends and colleagues, and also, don't forget to subscribe our channel and click the bell button so you won't miss any interesting video in the future. Bye bye, we'll see you next time!